Hi guys, as a, Luciano from Italy here. As I promised to Max, I'm doing this short, I, I hope this short video to show you how you can connect and integrate ManyChat with Jelloflow. Since now I knew basically three ways to do that. The one, the most used one is through Janice. Janice is a bot inside Slack you can use so Slack and Genis to create uh, this integration, the connection between these two platforms. Otherwise, I, I test uh, something with Integromat and it works, works fine, but the problem is you are firing an Integromat scenarios every time the default answer is fired. So I studied a lot while chatting with Max about something completely different about anything else and I thought I am sending a request, a text which the bot doesn't understand to Dialflow. Then Dialflow give me back some answer. So I went deeper and, and I, find, I found something that could be useful to you. Yeah, this is the, the first group where I, I post this video because uh, Chatbot Playground is my favorite group and uh, let's see together how this works. I, basically you have to set the default reply to enabled and fires every time because we want the bot every time uh, to send a request to Dialflow when he doesn't understand the expression from the user. As you can see here, I've made different, different for replies. This one is working with Janice. This one with the Dialflow APIs. And this one with a, a PHP client, to, totally customized. But the, the best one I found is this one. If we go to Edit Flow, we see there's an external request. Click on that. You have to set these parameters, so stop the video if you need this. Don't use my authorization, please, because it, it's, uh, it's mine, it's exclusively mine. Then in the body, you'll send this parameter, the query, which is the last text input, what the user typed and the bot didn't understand. The language, mine is IT, you, your will be N or something else. And the session ID, which I set to the user ID. Then here's the trick. You have to go to the response mapping and search and type this path. So it's $.result.fulfillment.speech and say that to a custom field you create here. Okay? So which is the trick? If you go to test the request you'll find everything is okay, I get a 200 okay response and here's the trick. You see you get from Dialogflow response uh, the, the, the text Dialogflow is sending is nested, nested under result, fulfillment, then speech. Okay, so this is what we have to map. The response mapping is set to this JSON path. Uh, please uh, pause the video if you needed to, to write that. You say this to a custom field, then you can automatically set the, the message which is contained inside this custom field. Uh, mine is Risposta Dialogflow, which is answered from Dialogflow. In this way, the user will get the response from Dialogflow. I hope everything is... Uh, is clear sorry for my english once again always and uh, i hope you you can benefit from this uh, the solution which is uh, isn't as accurate as uses genis or php client stuff like that but i see i tested it and uh, everything works entity context uh, um, intents are working fine so with this easy setup uh, you can have a smarter, smarter bot. Okay. See you in the in the next video. If uh, will be there will be.
another video. Okay, bye-bye.